vertigo um it has to do with my Meniere disease um well it has to do a lot with my Meniere disease um Meniere disease is basically a uh, ringing in the ears and severe vertigo which are dizzy spells and I have an appointment in January to see my ENT to see what else he can do besides giving me pill medication for it because these I'm only allowed to take when it happens and those don't seem to be working all that well. And you know, the bad thing about this vertigo, at least for me, is when I get these vertigo spells, I get very nauseous and sometimes I even vomit, which is, it's not a good thing, at least for me. So I'm also on um, medication for nausea and vomiting. So, I mean, this, it's not an ideal um, illness and I hate it. You know, I really do. I hate it with a passion. Um, it's something that, you know, I wish I didn't, I didn't have. Um, but, you know, at this, you know, at the same time, you know, I, how I look at it is God, okay, this illness technically is from the devil. So, but with God, he is using this illness for a bigger purpose, at least in my case, from that's how I take it. So, you know, I believe there's a bigger purpose as to why I'm getting these dizzy spells. So, I mean, it's just, you know, there's good and bad days with it. Um, I've had two episodes already in public both at, well, one at a doctor's office and then one at um, a therapy um, place. The first one, I had actually gotten a shot the same day. So when I, she, I got the shot and she wound up ordering blood, my doctor, my PCP. And so um, I was getting, you know, all the paperwork done and I, I didn't feel dizzy, but the minute I sat down, I started feeling really, really weird. And I, um, you know, when they called me to go get blood work done, I knew something wasn't right with, with me. So when I got up to to walk, and I, I of course have my forearm crutch because I take it everywhere with me. Um, I immediately felt myself falling I fell right back into the chair after just trying to get up. Um, and then I got up again and I was able to get up and walk. And I told the nurse straight out, or the one that was taking blood, she's, she's a nurse. Um, I was like, I don't feel good. Um, you know, they gave me a shot. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. So she went, she had me sit in the, um, the chair where they do the blood work. So I, I did that and, um, but, but, but before she had me do the blood work, I, you know, she had, she went and got one of the doctors because there were two doctors in. I went, had, went and saw my PCP, but there was another doctor there and she went and grabbed the doctor, the other doctor, because my PCP obviously couldn't come and see me because she was in with another patient. And so, I, you know, I was telling her, you know, I am dizzy. Um, they gave me a shot and, you know, I explained to her. She's like, does this happen often? I was like, actually, no. Uh, this is like the first time I've gotten really dizzy like that at a doctor's office. She was like, okay. She goes, well, let's see. Let's get you some water. 
and then um, she had me drink take a, sub, a couple of sips of the water and it seemed to work it seemed to really help but then she had she was like have you eaten anything and normally when I go to doctor's office I have to get up at like six something to go to the doctor's office because carts um, which is the community disabled transportation that I take um, they pick you up from 7 to 8 and so I get up around 6 6 30 because I sometimes I'm fast and then other times when my chronic illnesses um, really affect me I don't get up as fast so I you know like no I didn't eat um, you know I didn't I didn't have time this morning I I was in a rush so I'm like well let's get you some crackers so she did and they kind of helped but uh, the nurse just kept staring at me and I was like what and I wanted to say what are you staring at what they were like we can tell we can tell you're really dizzy because your eyes are like going in circles and your eyes just look really weird I'm like um okay I was like that's you know that's weird okay and she's like well let's see if there's an open room and have you lie down well of course there were no um rooms available available for me to lay down so they went and opened up the physical therapy area and so that's where they had me lay and um they had me lay there for like a minute or two and the, the nurse who was going to draw the blood she's like are you sure you want to get it done and i was like yes i i need to get it done because i don't want to have to come back so she drew the blood and she after she was done you know she um, bandaged it up and I I had to wait basically and then I started feeling better and I slowly sat up with the help of the doctor that was there and um, she's like are you feeling better I was like yes ma'am I am okay and then so you know they waited with me um, they you know they took me out they waited with me till, till carts came um, when carts came I um, I got on the bus and you know he took me home so and you know I just you know when, when that happened I felt kind of embarrassed and I didn't really know you know what else was gonna happen so it, it was a lot for me to take in you know doing that and then the second time it happened, I was at my therapy session. Um, I go to a, a therapy, therapy, and I um, I went and you know I had my session, and I was going to the bathroom before the carts bus bus came again. And um, so you know I went. And I went, I sat, you know, I got up from using the bathroom, you know, I flushed and whatnot. And then I was opening the door and then everything started spinning. And, you know, I automatically, you know, I don't go wash my hands because I'm my, several of my doctors have told me not to touch those, the handles. So I have to use hand sanitizer when I go. So. I do wash my hands, but it's either at my house or if it, or if it's a very, very small doctor's office, then I'll wash my hands. But if it's somewhere big, like the therapy place I was at, I don't. Um, you know, I then after, you know, I hand, hand sanitized my hands, I started feeling really sick all of a sudden. I didn't understand why. I didn't know. You know, I didn't know what was going on, why I was feeling sick. And um, so I wound, I wound up having to call the attendant that was in, you know, that checks the patients in for therapy. And I was I told them, told her the situation. I was like, um, I'm stuck in the bathroom. I am very dizzy. I, I can't make it out of here by myself. So... She's like, okay, we'll, we'll be right there. And well, like not even a minute later, her, the attendant lady that I was speak, that I spoke to on the phone was there. 
along with a nurse. And, and as you know, they were walking, they walked me out and luckily carts had just pulled up and was coming to get me. And, um, they walked me out there. And as soon as the, the man that drives carts, he came out of the car, he came out of the, out of his side of where, where he's able to get out. And he's like, do you need help? You know, what, basically what happened? Did you need help? She's like, oh no, she had a dizzy spell, so we're just trying to make sure she, um, she's okay. So, I, um, you know, he, he was bringing me home, and I told him, I was like, I had another dizzy spell, like the last time, um, and so, you know, once, when I came home, I told my, told my mother immediately, because I, those two times, luckily I had my forearm crutch, but at that moment, I knew you know, just using my forearm crutch alone, it's not going to cut it. Especially with these dizzy spells, as, as bad as I've been having them. I have I have a wheelchair. Um, it's not like a personal wheelchair, you know, the ones that you get through insurance or not. It's just like a regular wheelchair, like, you know, they use at the hospital. Um, so I'm thinking, if, you know, if I do not do not feel good that day or if i don't or if i don't feel like using my crutch i think i'm going to go and go ahead and have to use my wheelchair because at this rate i'd rather be safe than sorry you know i'd rather use the wheelchair because at least that way i won't be getting up as much as i should be and I won't have to get scared doing it. You know what I mean? So it it is. I am I am thankful for the for the tools that I have. Um, so, but when I do go see my ENT in January, I am gonna talk to him and see what else he can do because this medication is not working for me and you know I've I've told him in the past you know you know these medications aren't working for me and well according to him with many disease you can't really do anything you know they can only go up on your medication for the many disease um, it's a water pill that I take and with the water pill it's a actually a totally different another pill than the dizziness pill, pill that I take and with that it actually lowers my my blood pressure so I'm wondering if that doesn't have to do with me getting dizzy and so I when in when January hits and when it, it is time to go see him I am going to go talk to him because there there either needs to be a medication change or we need to go to another solution besides for medication and which from what he was telling me basically there is no other really um relief from a near disease except for the medicine um they go he goes the only the other thing we really can do is surgery and that is in very rare, he goes, that's in very rare cases that it gets worse. And so, but at this rate, I, I need something done because it's not safe for me to walk or go alone in public to these appointments. You know, I, you know, now I am starting to use my wheelchair more. Um, if need be, I'm gonna have to rely on my wheelchair more because it's really the only thing that's gonna keep me from falling. It's the only thing that's gonna keep me from getting dizzy. And at least that way when I'm sitting, I mean, I'm sure I am gonna get dizzy with the wheelchair. But, you know, I at least won't be freaking out or, you know, anything like that. So I'd rather have those tools. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, 
you know, the, that, you know, those are the two situations that has happened to me that have truly scared me. Um, what I have done as a precautionary now, um, when I do start to feel dizzy, I stay there. I, if I'm sitting, I'll stay sitting for a good while, like five minutes, and then I'll get up slowly. And um, if I start to feel nauseous, of course I'll take um, my medication. This medication goes under the tongue and it dissolves. Um, so it does help me. But, you know, the other precautionaries are, is, you know, start using my wheelchair more. And um, I'm, I'm just very thankful for the tools that I have. And I'm hoping they'll help until my January appointment with my ENT because something needs to be done. It really does. Um, I don't like having these dizzy spells um, and I, I don't like feeling unsafe. I really don't. Um, so we will see in January what he says. Um, if y'all have any tips on, you know, when y'all have vertigo spells, uh, what y'all do, um, please drop them in the comment section and maybe they can help me, help me with mine. Um, so we will catch y'all later. <laughs>